look, we were having a conversation about this suit earlier in the show. Uh, some of the critics saying that what you're accusing Amazon of doing is what all retailers do. What do you find so problematic about Amazon's behavior in particular? Sure. Uh, and look, to be sure, those are criticisms that we expected. But when you focus on Amazon and you focus on the Amazon digital mall, what you're talking about is a player that owns at least 50 percent of the marketplace. There are estimates that go up to Amazon having 75 percent of market power. The other players, eBay, Apple and Walmart, uh, if you aggregate and add that up, it's probably about 12, 13 percent. So Amazon dominates the online space. Here's what they use their power to do to third party sellers. They require sellers first to pay it, Amazon, a very significant commission, upwards to 40 percent for a good. Then it requires the sellers to not provide uh, for access to their product on any other site, including the seller's own site, for a price lower than that which they sell it on Amazon. That means that you and I are locked into buying a good at an artificially high price set by Amazon. That's the wrong that our lawsuit uh, seeks uh, to make right. Amazon, not surprisingly, has pushed back hard. Amazon, through a spokesperson, saying the D.C. Attorney General has it exactly backwards. Sellers set their own prices for the products they offer in our store. Like any store, we reserve the right not to highlight offers to customers that are not priced competitively. What's your response to that? So, in theory, that's not incorrect. Uh, in practice, the monopoly power Amazon tells you what to set the price at and punishes you if you do not adhere to those rules. That is, in our view, an abuse of marketing power. Um, and so the idea that Amazon is this beneficent player on a digital mall that is not rewarding and punishing others that don't play according to their rules is false. And third party sellers know that and consumers are harmed. Which states did you work with to investigate Amazon? So this is a D.C. case uh, that uh, D.C. attorneys and our counsel uh, worked on for over a year. Uh, we engaged with Amazon, tried as best we could to establish a cooperative relationship to gather documents and analyze the case. And at the end of the day, we felt like the case needed to be brought. Uh, it's not uncommon, as your question suggests, for other attorneys general to join together uh, and band together in a lawsuit. And that may happen or it may not happen. Uh, we're very confident in our case. Well, and that leads me to my next question, which is why did you file this action in local court versus collaborating with other states before doing this? Well, you know, I think that's a fair question, of course. Um, and again, we welcome any state to review our complaint. They know how to reach me and my team. Uh, and we'll bring them in on the case if they're interested in this theory. Uh, we brought the suit because we believe that Amazon is exercising its clear monopoly power on the digital mall in a way that punishes third party sellers and hurts consumers by leaving consumers with no choice but to pay higher prices for goods. Amazon never in its press release takes on or even acknowledges the provisions at issue in our lawsuit, sometimes called most favored nation clauses. I'd ask Amazon to tell you the truth about their most favored nation clauses. <laughs> Have you heard from any other states yet, Attorney General, today? No, I'm going to keep that one to myself for now. <laughs> uh, but right. uh, I certainly have talked to more than three attorneys general today. Had to ask. Look, are there Thank other is antitrust issues surrounding Amazon's behavior that you feel deserve scrutiny? Well, I think the press and, and your station um, has been all over this uh, with respect to Amazon and the larger platforms. You know, again, these are incredible businesses, and I don't mean to denigrate them in a full and whole fashion. They brought incredible efficiency and convenience uh, to the marketplace. 
but they do not get to set the marketplace by virtue of their own power. I know that there are several other issues that attorneys general like D.C. are looking at with respect to the platforms, including Amazon. Now, earlier, and I want to give you a chance to respond to this, uh, Amazon, uh, Michael Pactor, an analyst who covers Amazon, said he thinks this case is, quote, going nowhere and that Amazon is going to skate away. How do you respond to that? Well, I didn't really understand, or nor did I see in, in that comment what his the rationale was um, for his statement. If he's saying that Amazon is a massive business that will likely continue uh, to prosper, I probably would agree with him on that. If he's saying that these most favored nation clauses are legal and Amazon is going to forcefully defend that, I think that's wrong. I think that they're illegal, and I think where Amazon has been tested on these kinds of clauses in their third-party seller contracts, they have backed away. And um, I think that's what they're going to eventually either be forced to do or choose to do here. I'd love for you to, in last quick question, sort of sum up in a nutshell how you came to understand Amazon's power in this area. What got you to the point of taking action and thinking that this should be a priority? It's a very complex issue. Antitrust law itself is somewhat esoteric. And so what we did as a team in D.C. was that we dug in really to try to understand as best we could the third-party seller experience and actually the kind of pressure that is placed on third parties who understandably want their goods to be showcased on the biggest digital mall in the world. Um, we then took a hard look at the economics involved. And what we saw was that third party sellers were essentially forced to pay a, a high commission to have their goods sold on Amazon and then strongly discouraged to not allow for their goods to be available at any lower price for fear of being punished and banned um, from the Amazon websites. That is right. very strong and pernicious power, and that's why we acted.